Welcome to the 2019 Miss Bedford Scholarship Program. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Miss Bedford 2018, Elizabeth Henry.
2018. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming tonight. My name is Elizabeth Henry, and I'm your reigning Miss Bedford 2018 for the next couple of hours. Awesome job, ladies. Thank you so much. So I'm sure you've noticed we have some extra guests on stage tonight. Right, girls? They've been having an awesome day. Please meet our rising stars. Leadership Program is a newly formed mentor program designed to give young girls a non-competitive opportunity to be involved in our organization. Rising Stars focus on self-confidence, community involvement, and the development of strong leadership qualities. These eight stars have completed a volunteer project for NH Fit, which you will hear more about later on tonight, and have participated in leadership and public speaking workshops earlier today. So let's hear from these future Rising Star leaders. Hello, my name is Ella Dion. I'm 10 years old and I go to Henry W. Moore School. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ellie Lanjo. I'm 11 years old and I go to Runlet Middle School. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emma Hauser. I am 13 years old and I go to Lurgio Middle School. <laughs> Hello, my name is Karina Richard. I am 13 years old and I go to Parkside Middle School. <laughs> Our current Miss Bedford's Outstanding Team, Kirsten Borenkessel, and all of our amazing contestants.
All right, so we're moving on. Next up, we are going to welcome our Miss Bedford contestants back to the stage to compete in the talent competition. This is worth 30% of their score, so of course it's very important. So contestant number one is Miss Megan Susie. She has been dancing for 12 years and is hoping you'll join in the fun tonight. Here she is with her jazz performance too, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Please welcome Megan. She hopes to pursue dance as a professional career in the future. She is so excited to share her passion of dance with you tonight and hopes you will enjoy her lyrical performance to You Raise Me Up. Please welcome Emily. Bishop University's dance team. She has performed in honor of the military at University of New Hampshire for the Manchester Wolves halftime show, twice for the Boston Celtics and the Red Sox. Dance is her passion and she is excited to share it with you all. Please welcome Shauna Guile.
our final Miss Contestant for the evening competing in talent is Alexa Laduca. Alexa will be singing Time to Say Goodbye by Andre Bocelli. She has most recently performed this at the Royal in Boston as a showcase representing her school, Suffolk University. Alexa has performed for the last 10 years and is very excited to share this song with you tonight. A fun fact about her is that last fall, she auditioned for American Idol. Please welcome Alexa. I was like, I 
I feel like a trophy. Um, and he was like, I have a lime green one. And I was like, what? <laughs> Who wears lime green on the Miss America stage? I do. Um, so it was really cool. I put it on and, you know, I'm sure everyone here knows that when you put a dress on and you love it, like it's the one. You get that feeling. Or like anyone that's been married and you're like, wow, I love this dress. I had that feeling instantly and I knew that it was the one and I had so much fun walking the stage and I was like spinning around during commercial breaks. I was just like, how could you not? <laughs> I mean, you walked and you're just like, I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, and I did hear you have a special connection with her right now. Yes, so Gabby Tavares, um, she was Miss, she's Miss Massachusetts, she ended up making top five. And I don't know if you guys have heard about uh, the fires that have happened in the Andover Lawrence area, but we are reaching out for help. If you have any supplies, non-perishable food items, diapers, um, formula, anything that can help, the Lawrence Senior Center um, on Haverhill Street is collecting donations or time, just volunteering a couple hours of your time if anybody has time off or can, you know, donate gift cards or anything to help the families that were affected by these fires and these explosions. It would be very, very helpful and um, Gabby actually lives where that happened. So um, she had to spend time in her car. She was like FaceTiming us and sending us videos and she was sitting in her car while houses right next to her were blowing up. So it was it impacted her a lot. I know I have family in Lawrence and I have family in the Lithuan area, so it's it hit home. And um, anything that anybody could do would be super helpful. Well, thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much. It's amazing Jeff. that you guys are just connected and you're really helping out those families. Can we give her a round of applause for that? That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for able to bring your whole platform from with these titles and going out there and just making a difference. It's phenomenal. Is she not wonderful? Well, we're going to go to the Yes, I will see you later, though. I'll be back. Please don't worry. Thank you. All right, are you guys ready to get back to the competition? Mm, are you guys ready to get back to the competition? There we go. All right, so we are going to move on to our wonderful outstanding team in their talent competition. So let's begin with contestant number one, Kayla White. She will be performing a contemporary jazz dance to This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. She chose this song because of its powerful message to always be comfortable with who you are. Kayla hopes you feel excited and joyful watching this dance as she is excited as well. So please welcome Kayla.
Next to the stage is contestant number three, Heather Dearborn. She'll be performing a dance, a tap dance, to say amen. Heather has been tapping for 13 years and has performed tap at many competitions over the years. So please welcome her to the stage. Please welcome Corinne Kelly. Bailey is currently taking voice lessons at the Concord Community Music School. She chose this song because she loves to dance and felt that this song represents the joy she feels. Please welcome Bailey. Stop. 
And our final contestant for the Outstanding Teens Talent Competition is Miss Dylan Norse, who will be dancing a jazz dance to the song Feeling Good. Dylan is a competition dancer at McKenna Dance Center. Please welcome Dylan. Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel And I'm feeling delicious treats donated by Cupcakes 101 found right here in Bedford, as well as the chance to vote for your favorite contestant for our People's Choice Awards later. Please remember that lifestyle and fitness is worth 10%. Contestant number one, Megan Susie. We are so excited for our first year of Miss Bedford Rising Stars Leadership Program. As you learned earlier, this is a mentor program that teaches these girls public speaking skills, volunteerism, and overall leadership skills, as well as learning about the scholarship program. 
So part, one of the largest parts of our program was the volunteer portion. And these girls had to commit to a volunteer day. We chose our project for New Hampshire Fit, um, which is Families in Transition. So these girls attended a volunteer day at New Hampshire Fit. Before they arrived, they had to collect donation bags. They collected more than 35 bags of donations for New Hampshire Fit. During their volunteer day, they spent time in the store cleaning. I'm not sure they enjoyed that part of it. Sorting through donations, as well as arranging some mannequins. They got to dress the mannequins for some displays in the store. And the value of their volunteer day was over $600. So that contribution is able to support 12 families for, for uh, families in transition with outfitting them with a home starter kit. So 12 families just by their one morning of volunteerism at New Hampshire Fit. So it was a wonderful experience with these girls. I'm very fortunate to have been a part of the program and got to know these young ladies um, just a little bit. And I think they're doing a fantastic job today. So they are going to tell you a little bit about their experience at New Hampshire Fit. And we also have one rising star who was unable to make it, but she did her own volunteer project on her own. So she's gonna tell you a little bit about what she did for her volunteer project. So the questions are going to be asked by Marissa, and our rising stars are gonna tell you about their volunteer day. Perfect, okay. So our first question is for Laura Finnegan. So, what was the most fun part about volunteering at New Hampshire Fit? The most fun part was at the end of the day, we got to dress up the mannequins and express our sense of style. Thank you. Next up is Katie Weber. So Katie, was there anything that was surprising about your day? It was really surprising how many donations we got and how long it took us to sort them all. about volunteering? What I learned is that it's very important to help people in need. And Ella Dion. So Ella, would you volunteer in the future? Why? Yes, I would volunteer in the future because it's important to help families in transition and other people in need. Question number five is for Emma Hauser. Hello. Are these are there organizations in your hometown that could benefit from more volunteers? Yes, Fueled by Kids is an organization that packages up food for families and kids in need. With um, more volunteers, they will be able to package the food up faster and deliver it more efficiently. Next up is Karina Richard. So Karina, what would you tell a friend who asks why you volunteer? I would tell them that it is a great organization and for multiple organizations, and I would also tell them that it's really fun to help out. Up next is Grace Stewart. How does volunteering help you gain leadership skills? It helps me gain leadership skills because once I learn them, I can teach other people so they can volunteer. And last but not least, we have Ellie Langell. She is the individual who had her independent project. So what was your favorite part about your independent community service project? Sadly, I wasn't able to make it to the volunteering event, but at home, I am rehabilitating Barbies to give them to Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital. And my favorite part is they all come in with afros, so I like to fix them. Thank you so much. Another round of applause for these wonderful eight rising stars.
they have done awesome, and I've had the privilege to work with them alongside. So for our former title holders, which has been great all day, we've been prepping them on everything from hair and makeup to interview to talking about talent to talking about how to prep for your push-up as a teen. So it's been great, and let's get this show on the road. any of you, but every time these lovely young ladies down here answered, my heart just went, oh. <laughs> You guys are so fabulous. Can we give them a huge round of applause for all that they've done? They're already amazing role models at young ages. Quite impressive, ladies. All right, are you guys ready to wrap up our competition? I hear half the room. Find out who our next Fed, Miss Bedford and Miss Bedford's outstanding team and Miss London Dairy's outstanding team are going to be. And we're going to begin that with our team's evening wear competition. This competition area accounts for 25% of their score. So let's get started. Contestant number one, Kayla White. Start. It's an organization in New York that helps underprivileged youth um, have the access to art. I definitely think that the love for something starts when you're young, and they target young children um, and young adults. So I would definitely like to be a part of that program and help other youth as well. Contestant number two, Kylie Chamberlain. Different doesn't necessarily mean bad, or that things definitely have to change because of somebody's sexual orientation or gender identity. So the first step that I think that peers 
and government officials and people in schools should start to do is to really start educating about the LGBTQ community. Thank you. So number four, Corinne Kelly. to volunteer and I'd tell them what the job they'd be doing. They would be shipping care packages by packing them, writing letters, and just having a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number five, Bailey Hearn. because I've seen it happen with other things like LGBTQ+, and such, and I want to see that happen with depression. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Contestant number six, Dylan Norse. For example, my mother and stepdad sitting out in the audience tonight are a personal example of saving my brother's life. And now he's 34 and living the best life. And that's a story I personally want to share and show how amazing it can truly be. Thank you.
number three, Shauna Guile. Contestant number four, Alexa LaDuca. To be able to invite our very own Miss Kirsten, sorry, Miss Kirsten Born Kessel, our current Miss Bedford's outstanding team, to perform the song that won her the title last September, "Fly Me to the Moon." Please help me welcome Kirsten. Choice 
to make Colin Kaepernick the face of their ad campaign was a smart business decision. I think them choosing him for their model of, for Nike was a very smart decision because it enforces diversity and diversity is a new issue that is becoming more prominent in today's society. I think it is super important to embrace those who are different than us, so I agree with their choice. Thank you very much. Contestant number three, Shauna Guile. Thank you. Great. Shauna, what do you believe the most significant domestic policy issue facing our country is? Even though it involves immigrants, I believe our, the way we handle immigration is something that's very outdated. We need to modernize the way we allow green cards and visas to be handed out. We need a faster, faster and more efficient system, and it's a domestic issue because every one of us you know, are immigrants from another country from one generation or another. I'm personally a fourth generation Irish immigrant. So even though that I am domestic now, I was an immigrant now, or my family was at one point, so immigration is something that we need to be better policies at. Do you believe the 70 protesters arrested at Judge Kav Kavanaugh's hearing hurt or helped their case? Pause. I'm so sorry. I hope they're paused. Okay. Of course. Do you believe the 70 protesters arrested at Judge Kavanaugh's hearing hurt or helped their cause? protesters that were arrested um, did help their cause. Um, I believe that um, by making a statement for your cause does show um, change. So I believe that by showing your Second Amendment right, which is the freedom of speech, is the right thing to do. And, and by being in this country that was um, using their Second Amendment um, right, or excuse me, First Amendment right. Thank you. All four of our Miss Contestants, one more round of applause for Asian Girls. And that officially ends out our competition. So now, we unfortunately have to play the waiting game. And I don't know about you, but I really am, like, I just cannot wait to find out who wins. What about you? So while we are playing the waiting game, we are lucky enough to have our very own Miss Bedford, Elizabeth Henry, perform a talent routine to At Last. So please welcome Elizabeth.
there are some shining crowds in the audience. And at this time, we would like to welcome to the stage any visiting title holders. There's some stairs right over there. Um, and if you could just come up here and tell us your name, title, and your platform. Thank you. Grace Henry, I'm your Miss Liberty, and my platform is Selective Mutism, Educate to Excel. Hello everybody, I am Kenzie Good, Miss Capital Area, and my platform is the American Heart Association. Hello everyone, I am Amanda Do your Miss Greater Dairy, and my platform is Staying Active at All Ages and Stages. Miss Goff Stone's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Standing by Those with Disabilities. Hello everyone, my name is Kaitlyn Susi, I am Miss Goff Town, and my platform is Time to Give, Get Involved in Volunteering Efforts. Hello everyone, I'm Riley O'Neill, your Miss Sauhegan Valley's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Empowering Others in Martial Arts. I'm Casey Chamberlain, your Miss Rockingham County's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is honoring our veterans. Good evening, everyone. I am Katie Langell, your Miss Portsmouth Area's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is A is for Anxiety. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for being here tonight. My name is Sarah White. I am Miss Londonderry, and my platform is Let's Talk About It, Eliminating the Stigma of Mental Illness. And I'm so excited to see who my team is going to be in just a few short moments. Hello, my name is Santhi Russell, and I am Miss Lakes Region's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Actionism. Get in on the action. Good evening. My name is Brene Dubis. I am Miss Liberty's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Volunteer. Things get solved when everyone gets involved. and I am Miss Lake Sunapee Region's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Get On Your Feet, Helping Children Be Healthy, Safe, and Active. Hello everyone, I'm Katie Smith, I'm your Miss Sahican Valley, and my platform is Math Counts, Empowering Women in STEM. With a platform of Give Me Your Hearts by Volunteering Through the Arts, I am your Miss Capital Area's Outstanding Teen, Skylar Pajeski. Hello everyone, last but not least, I am Abigail Kennard, I am your Miss One of Soggy's Outstanding Teen, and my platform is Dancers at Heart. Dance for a cause, not for applause. So as you all know, the Miss New Hampshire Scholarship Program is very much a leadership program, providing opportunities for young people to perform and compete and complete community service. Not unlike our program, we have special guests this evening who are going to perform and share their talent with you. So please welcome Speaking Taps, a pre-professional youth company in the direction of Aaron Poulsen.
much once again to Speaking in Taps for that amazing performance. So as we start to conclude our evening here, we'd like you to direct, to direct your attention to some fantastic sponsors that the Miss Bedford Scholarship Program has. First, we'd like to thank Fromoff and Lang, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Langois Dental, who will be providing a huge in-kind gift to both the Miss and team winners. We'd also like to thank Murphy's Taproom and Carriage House for, for providing our judges with such a delicious meal today. Make sure you check them out. They're right here in Bedford and their food is amazing. I know I saw the uh, background chicken tenders somewhere earlier. We would also like to thank T-Bone's Restaurant in the Puritan Backroom, as well as Pizza Bella, Hannaford Supermarkets, and Cupcakes 101. These are all local businesses who, are help, who have helped to make our program possible. We'd also like to thank Alicia McDougall for donating a Miss Bedford bracelet to our winner, and Ryan Smith Visuals for being a fantastic supporter and sponsor of our program. We can't forget to thank Dixie, Dixieland Floors and our wonderful sound engineer, Matt Morin of MTM Enterprise, and our primary sponsor of the Miss Bedford Scholarship Program, Primary Bank. Thank you so much, Primary. We also would like to give a shout out and thank you of appreciation for the Bedford Community Television for taping tonight's competition and offering opportunities to our title holders throughout the years of service. So can we please give everybody else a round of applause for all of you? We would also like to take time to thank many people that have made tonight possible. Thank you to Denise Cloutier, our field director, our board of directors, who are an incredible team, Melissa Stevens, Emily Tolson, who was Miss Bedford in 2002 and later on became Miss New Hampshire in 2006, Jennifer McNutt, Crystal Dion, and Nicole Philbrook, who was Miss South Dakota in 2000. So thank you all so much for donating your time and endless hours to help these young ladies and help this program be a success. It would be nothing without all of your help as well. And at this time, I would like to bring back our Miss Bedford's outstanding team, Kirsten Warncastle, to say a few words. So please welcome Kirsten. All right, so I have a speech prepared when I say goodbye. So, September 10th, 2017 was a day I will never forget. When my name was called for the 2018 title of Miss Bedford Outstanding Team. It was by far one of the best moments of my life. I had done a total of nine pageants before I won my first title, and I learned that dedication and determination truly pays off. To never give up and just be yourself. This year consisted of many events and opportunities that developed me as an individual and helped me become confident in who I really am. Emily and Melissa, I was extremely lucky to have such amazing directors who guided me every step of the way this year. You are both such a strong, you are both such strong and independent women, and I am forever, forever grateful this was my first title. You both, as individuals, are so caring, and thank you for everything. The next Miss Bedford and Miss Bedford's outstanding team are lucky to have you. I love you both with all my heart. Elizabeth, calling you strong and kind-hearted would be an understatement. You are truly such an inspiration to not only me, but everyone around you. You absolutely rocked the Miss New Hampshire stage and worked your way up to the top seven. It was an honor being your younger sister, and I see such a bright future ahead of you. I love you. Mom, the reason I am up on this, this stage, the reason I have grown, and the reason I never give up. Thank you for always being there when I need you and dedicating yourself to helping me become the girl I am today. Ma, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you to all my sponsors, which include <laughs> she just said all of them, but I'll just say them again: Murphy's Tap Room and Carriage House, Fromith and Langlois Dental, T Bones Restaurant, Puritan Bathroom, Pizza Bella, Hanford Supermarket, Ryan Smith Photography, Matt Morin, MTM Enterprise, Dixieland Florist, and last but not least, Cupcakes 101. Your generous donations were a huge help to all of us. Lastly, thank you to the, all the people I've met along the way, including every single girl who competed with me, as well as supported and watched. This program introduced me to incredible girls, and I will always consider them the kindest people I've ever met. This program is so important. It helps young girls become confident in who they are and gives you forever friends. 
This was such an incredible experience, and I will never forget my year as Miss Bedford Outstanding Team. Thank you. So I'm going to be super quick, but I had to come out and just tell you um, how fortunate Melissa and I felt to have Kirsten as our outstanding teen. Anybody who met her was like, she is so sweet. She is so cute, and it doesn't, it doesn't stop. She's just the nicest girl, and we were so fortunate to have her as our title holder. And we hope we see you soon, that you don't go too far. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> All right, so our next thank you is from Miss Lindenberry's current outstanding team, Laurel Green. Um, however, she could not make it tonight due to school commitments. So she was wonderful and she recorded her thank you. So we're going to play that for you all right now. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight for the crowning of our new Miss Londoners Outstanding Team. Even though I'm not here tonight, I wanted to give a few thank yous to individuals that truly made this year remarkable. Katrina Brooks and Ashley Firth, thank you for your support and amazing headshots for states. Miss Adrian, thank you for always helping me to prepare the best routines for competition and making sure I was always performing to the best of my abilities. To my mom and dad, thank you for being my support system and lavish cheerleaders. I love you both. Mariah, thank you for being the best big sister. Thank you for your compassion and support throughout the year, especially during States Weeks when you came to my house and even surprised me. Emily and Grace, I love you guys with all my heart. You two are so special to me, and I couldn't imagine a better year together. All our laughs and fun times I will cherish always. Morgan, I am so proud of everything you've accomplished this year, both personally and professionally. I'm inspired by you every day and cannot wait to see where the future takes you. Marissa, words cannot express the amount of joy and love I have for you. We haven't known each other for more than a few years, but I feel like I've known you my entire life. From your first pageant to the Miss America stage, I have enjoyed watching you grow, not only as a title holder, but as a person. I cannot thank you enough for all the love and advice you've given me throughout the years. To Adria, Alicia, and Catherine, the three amigos, thank you for all your help this year preparing for Miss New Hampshire's Outstanding Team. From our fun photo shoots to encouraging text messages, thank you for all that you do for this program. And to reflect on my time as Miss London Dare's outstanding team, from placing second runner-up at States to gaining 27 amazing young sisters, I want to just thank everyone for all the love, support, and encouragement during my time in this program, and especially to Patty LaMontagne and the Miss New Hampshire Board. Thank you for all that you do for this program in supporting young women across our state. And to the next Miss London Dairy's Outstanding Team, let this year be full of service and adventure. Dare to step outside your comfort zone and try something new. You have an amazing support network, and I wish you all the very best. For the last time, I am Laurel Breen, Miss London Dairy's Outstanding Team 2018. I'd like to bring up Elizabeth Henry, our reigning Miss Bedford, to say a few last words. This year has been a year of growth in many ways. One of the many things I love about this program is that it encourages us women to truly know who we are and what we are made of. Going into my fifth year in this organization, I look back and see how much I've personally grown, and this is largely because of all the directors I've been lucky enough to steal for a year. Emily, Melissa, and the entire Miss Bedford board, I can't thank you enough for the continuous support I've received this year. You've challenged me to be the best version of myself, and we're always there to help whenever I needed anything. Kirsten, thank you so much for being the best little sister ever. My fellow jazz singer, my fellow Oyster River girl, I'm so proud of you, and I've watched you on this journey, and I'm so proud of how far you've come. Thank you for dedicating a whole year to Kirsten and I, Melissa and Emily. We both have had so much fun being part of the Miss Bedford family. I've had the chance to meet and work with so many people this year, including our amazing sponsors. 
Their generosity and support of this scholarship organization has helped me to pursue a double major at the University of New Hampshire. I, a huge thank you goes out to Beth from Elevina Salon and Spa for helping me get over my fear and cut my hair from East New Hampshire. It's a big one. Um, Stephanie and everyone at Fromith and Langlois Dental, thank you for keeping my teeth nice and white all year and making me feel so special and welcome. Stephanie actually bedazzled a Sonicare toothbrush for me in my favorite color, so it's beautiful in my dorm room. <laughs> Talk about awesome sponsors. To my family, thank you so much for the constant encouragement, support, and love. John, you're the best pageant brother ever. I can't think of one competition you've missed between Grace and I. And Grace, some people might say I'm crazy, but I can't wait to compete with you at Miss New Hampshire this year. And Mom, thank you for pushing me to be my best self and my biggest fan. This program has changed my life, and I'm eternally grateful to every volunteer who has helped make this happen for women all over New Hampshire. For the last time, I'm Elizabeth, your Miss Pet. We had a great year with Elizabeth, um, you know, starting with um, cutting her hair, um, which was actually like huge. Um, but then, you know, having such a great time at States with her too, and um, seeing how much she has grown and how much she really gives to the program, we just appreciate everything that you've done. Thank you. So now it is time to bring all of our contestants back on stage one last time and announce the winner of Miss Bedford 2018, Miss Bedford's Outstanding Team 2018, and Miss Londonary's Outstanding Team 2018. So please give them a warm welcome as they come back. People's Choice for the Teens. <laughs> Alrighty. Our team People's Choice winner is Kayla White.
our new Miss Bedford's Outstanding Team is Corinne Kelly. Shut up. 